Here we go on question number 25. I'm Michael Pearl. We're Locate the Door. This is No Greater Joy Ministries bringing this to you. Here's what a questioner asked. Hi, I watched the Good and Evil video and really enjoyed it. But in the Moses segment, that last plague says that the male firstborn children would be killed. Where is that found in Scripture? All I find is firstborn with no gender. I do know that God later claims the firstborn males due to his dealing with Pharaoh and even later the Levites. These passages would seem to indicate that it could have been males, but still leave room for assumption on the parts of the reader. Is there something in Scripture that unequivocally states these were males? Terry asked the question. So, Terry, your question is, is uh, thoughtful, and I'm glad that you're thinking, and I'm glad you're questioning what I've written and what I say. I want you to question me like you question everyone else, because I question, I question my own self. Uh, when I teach something uh, two years after I taught it once, I don't go back to my old notes. I restudy it. Because a lot of times I correct myself. So I even argue with myself. So it's all right for you to argue with me, okay? Uh, the word firstborn, uh, now here's what I did to answer your question. I, I, I thought, well, you know, maybe she's right. I don't know. I, I'll check it out. So because I've never thought about it. So I went into my computer and I typed in firstborn. 117 times it appears in the Bible. So I read all 117 of them. So you could have done this. And uh, I found two of them applied to females, two times. One of them is in uh, Genesis 19.30, uh, talking about uh, uh, two of Lot's children, and uh, then another one in 1 Samuel 14.49. But the other 115 of the 117 are all male. And so let's just look quickly at about three or four of those passages. Here's uh, Exodus 13, 2. Sanctify unto me all the firstborn. Whatsoever openeth the womb among the children of Israel, both of man, beast, it is mine. And if thou shalt show thy son, that's the gender in that day, saying, this is done because of that which they did in Egypt when they came forth. Uh, thou shalt uh, set apart unto the Lord all that openeth the matrix, the womb, every firstling that cometh of a beast which thou hast, the males, shall be the Lord's. So he's defined the males twice here. Goes on next verse. Every firstling of an ass redeemed, so forth. All the firstborn of man among thy children shalt thou redeem. So it was the firstborn male that was the object of the sacrifice to save them. Was the Sacrifice was for the male's sake, not the female. And he shall be with thy son, asketh thee in the time to come, saying, what is this? so forth. And it came to pass when the Pharaoh heard all this, the Lord slew all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both the firstborn of man, the firstborn of beast. Therefore I sacrifice to the Lord all that opened the matrix being males, all the firstborn of the children of Israel I redeemed. So this is reflects back to the former event of the sacrifice in Egypt. And he said, just like that, that firstborn was redeemed by blood, the firstborn today are redeemed and he said they're males. So that passage alone is sufficient to close the case, but uh, others like uh, Exodus 22, 19, firstborns of the sons, uh, Numbers 30, 43, firstborn males, uh, verse 40, firstborn of the males of the children of Israel, Numbers uh, 342, command all the firstborn among the children of Israel, all the firstborn males by numbers and on and on, it goes. So the firstborn is a name that is generally reserved for the males because uh, the, the family crescent, the family name, the family property, the family heritage all came through the males. That's the reason children develop, uh, receive the father's name, not the mother's name is because it becomes the father's lineage. The bride is given away to a different lineage. The man is not given away. So the bride becomes in a new family line with a new name. And so the inheritance was always through the males, and the responsibility was always through the males. So that's why the firstborn 
with the exception of when you're speaking of birth order in two cases. The firstborn always refers to the males for that reason. Okay, that's the answer to that question.